Hey, hey everyone, it is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I am bringing you my stash. This is years and years worth of completed work. And why am I bringing it to you? Well, because these were all over an easel and everybody knows that little man is turning one and he may like to draw on the easel soon. And so I took these off the easel, they kept falling off and I thought, let's go through them. Some you've seen, some you haven't, um, some you've watched me do on lives or in events. And so we're just gonna go through them. If I know where I got them from, I'll tell you. Some of them are discontinued styles, but it's always fun to see the finished product. So let's dive in. So first, we have this beautiful colored daisy. This is from um, one of, it's round. It's from one of the, the china shops. It's just a cute little snack that I did on the side. Okay, then we have this diamond art club. This is one of their smaller pieces. Um, I'm not sure if they still sell it, but it's called Not a Care in the World. This is a whip. I still have some to do. This is one I used to do when I was in bed sick. Um, and the drills always get separated from the canvas and then I either find the canvas and not the drills or the drills and not the canvas. So I'm gonna put this in a different pile because it's a whip. All right, so you guys watched me do this. This was one of the fa my favorite ones I've done. My favorite color is green. Um, tigers are just beautiful. Um, I was exploring how to bling this out and I love the sparkle on it. This is a JoJo's Art from Diamond Art Club. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this one you guys saw me do in an event. This is a craftably, and I did in the dragon event. Absolutely gorgeous, love blinging it out. Love the northern lights up above. That was my favorite part to do. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is a crystal canvas art. I have one like this that's not, um, I almost want to say blinged out. It's not crystal. So I thought, let's do one of each. I haven't done the non-crystal one to compare, but this was beautiful. It's a rainbow succulent. All right, this one I did for a winter event. Um, this is from Treasure Studios Art. Absolutely loved doing it. It's a Lizzie Falcon. So fun. Here's another craftably. I think this is Rainbow Tree, maybe. Not sure exactly what it's called. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Rainbow Tree. This was a lot of fun to do. All right, here's a small little art dot. Craft I did. Art dot is a great snack size, usually 30 by 40 round, and they turn out pretty well. And many of the ones that you get from Art Dot, you can do um, four in one. So that was a little snack, snacky poo. All right, this one I did for an event as well. This is a Diamond Art Club. Hannah Lynn is the artist. Really had a lot of fun blinging this one out. Okay, this is a Diamond Dot. This is one of their big canvases. It's a partial. I had some fun adding some extra drills to this to give it some sparkle and they also provided some specialty drills. That's what I love about diamond dots. Okay, this is a Treasure Studios and um, I had fun with my friend Rebecca. We worked on this together for a Halloween collab. Had so much fun doing it. Very nice quality. All right, this is a Dreamer Designs. I have several landscapes from, um, I think it's uh, Anne Marie Bone, yes. Um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I have a couple smaller ones hanging up on my wall. 
And I did this one as well. It's from Dreamer Design called Contemplation. All right, so this was an ever moment. And I did this one with my friend um, Brian. And I did run out of some drills, so there's still some spots that aren't quite done. We did a mystery painting together, and he picked this one out for me. This is a custom I had done from the Pink Raspberry. Absolutely love it. Um, if I had another little girl, I'd probably frame this and put it in her room. It was just a lot of fun to do. It is um, <clears throat> the Gorgeous Girl Collection. Okay. This was one of the first very, very, very big ones I did. It's from Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. And the concept is the Phantom of the Opera, which I absolutely love. Had some fun blinging it out. Was still in the process of figuring out what it means to add special drills, but had a lot of fun. <clears throat> Not sure how I'm going to store this biggie. All right. Now, as you can see, these are a little bit wrinkled because they kept falling behind the easel. So they will flatten out. Don't worry. I just took them off the easel. But this was a Hannah Lynn by Diamond Art Club. And I did this as a um, DP summer cool off. And I did it with Wolfpack. This was when I started to really learn how to bling. So if you are a subscriber of Tia's Crazy Craft Addiction, she talks a lot about that event was kind of the event she started working on her bling as well. I had so much fun with the ruffles in her dress and adding depth and color. There are crystals, ABs, sparklers, um, a lot of different style drills. Okay, here's another art dot. Cute little snack, no. All right, this one I showed the other night. This is one I did in the winter. Uh, Bella Safi Safina, she is opening up her shop this weekend. I had so much fun putting sparklers and ABs and crystals on this one. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so this is a Diamond Art Dreams that I had, the first one I did from them. It's called Beautiful Besties from Sherry Baldi's company. This was from my Get Your Weird On event that I did with Crafts with Crashly. Had a lot of fun putting in some gold and some crystals. I love this green up here. All right, here's another Treasure Studios. I did this as an event with Lizzie, World of Gems. I absolutely loved these bees. It was a spring event. All right, this is a crystal canvas. It's a Robin um, Mead design. Absolutely love it. She needed a tester for this design. I believe it is square. Had so much fun doing this one. The canvas is nice and thick. All right, this was fun. This was the, um, we do a blinging in the new year every year. And this is the one that we did for 2023. I'm super excited for 2024. We're gonna do Tea Party from Diamond Art Club, but this I had so much fun blinging out. My favorite part is the belt. Um, and I'm going to put a um, little notation here for that playlist. There's so much more people hang in there. Aren't these amazing hours and hours of work? So much fun. All right, so this one I did, um, it's a Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club. It is one of my favorites. I had a lot of fun doing this in the fall. This one was a lot of fun. Um, this one, I believe I got crystal canvas art 
And this was all crystal, but I switched some of the crystal out for ABs to add a little bit of depth to it. So you can see in the rainbow and choose joy is kind of my mantra. All right, do what makes you sparkle from Diamond Art Club. This was my first Randall Spangler. I don't think I've done one yet. It's still from his. I have two more that I have of his. There's one I really, really want, but I'm waiting for a big sale because I don't want it enough to buy it on its own. So I want to wait till there's a couple that I can buy. This was probably one of my favorite Halloween. This is from Treasure Studios. It's a Lizzie Falcon. I switched out the cat normal black with uh, 310 ABs. And I loved how it gave it the blue shine because it gave it some black cat appeal separated from the black that was in her hair and her outline. And I love how the pumpkin turned out. Here's another crystal canvas design. Oh, yes, I did do a second, forgive me. So this is the second Randall Spangler I did. This was huge, but I did manage to get it. Had so much fun, especially doing the lights with some um, sparklers and glow in the dark. I added some metallics. This was one of my first metallic fun um, experiments, put some metallics in the book as well. So it's another biggie to figure out. I probably will, will roll the big ones up. Need to roll them with the drills facing out and I'll probably store them in one of my craftably um, containers, um, art containers. This is a Treasure Studios, absolutely love it. It's a Lizzie Falcon. I have another one of the snowman. Now Lizzie Falcon is no longer with Treasure Studios Art, which I'm really sad about. I love her artwork and I loved the quality from, I love the quality from Treasure Studios. I did do a lot of metallics in this one, a lot of glow in the darks and just had a lot of fun with sad snowman, which is what she calls him. Okay. So this is Craftably. I actually bought a frame. I'm gonna do a framing video to show you how to frame for this particular one to go up this winter in our home. I think it turned out really well. Um, so it is a Craftably. They still sell it. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. All right, so I have a whole bunch more. I'm gonna pause this and do a part two so I can have more room to show you. So I hope you really liked it. Here's a little sneak peek of what's coming up next. And um, let me know, which one was your favorite that I showed you tonight? What are you working on? How do you store your diamond paintings down in um, the comments? So until next time, be blessed, take care, bye-bye.